Shalom. Kohaloyim la Yahawa Bahasham Yahawa Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors unto our apostles and others a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akim Adaris pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. This is your brother Ash from the great millstone Miami camp. Coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rachakwadash. And in this lesson, I want to speak about the times. How we are in the time of great enchantment. We are in times of great enchantments. Okay. And uh, real quick, I'll go into the etymology of the word enchantment. Enchantment says act of magic or witchcraft. Use of magic, magic power. From Old French and Continent, magical spell, song, concert, chorus. From Enchanter, Bewitch, Charm. From Latin, Encantare, Enchant, Cast a Magic Spell Upon. Okay. Even I believe in the, uh, we're, uh, because it says, uh, to, uh, from Old English, Galdor, to song. Okay. Or sing uh, from Galan to sing. Even in the uh, uh, Spanish, I believe sing means uh, to say sing is cantar. Okay, that's where you get the word chant. So we're living in a season of mass enchantments. We're living in a season of heavy, heavy witchcraft. Now, we know, uh, according to the scriptures, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Ultimately, when, you know, witchcraft is, in the, you know, in the root, of, the root of witchcraft is rebelling against the Heavenly Father and His Son. Rebellion against Yahweh, Basham Yahushai. And you have levels to witchcraft. Really, everyone outside of this truth is a witch because they're rebelling against the Heavenly Father and the Son. And you have uh, the other nations as well as two-thirds of our own people. They take counsel against the Heavenly Father and His Son. They actually practice ways. They, they actually practice, you know, conscious, consciously practice their rebellion against the Heavenly Father and the Son. They, 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 you know, the the top witches of this world, this society. They know the Heavenly Father exists. They know His Son exists. They know uh, the who the true people of the Lord are. Okay, they know who the Israelites are. They know who the Edomites are. And they actually consciously uh, go, you know, make war against the heavenly father and his son which when you go into the word rebel i believe that's what uh rebellion means to to uh, go back to to go back to war okay and they push that vibration the top witches of of the earth they push that vibration throughout the earth you have these lower level people on the earth that don't know really what's going on but they follow after the vibration which is being pushed out from the elites of society. They worship these different, uh, you know, like we're saying, this is the season. What's, what, what is known about this season? And when I say this season, I'm talking about this time of the year, first and foremost. Uh, when you go into the, 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 the end, you know, well. Going from fall into winter, you have these different feast days, and you know you you go into the history. A lot of children go missing around this time. They 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 you know we just passed so called Halloween, which is a very demonic uh, feast day. The so you know, as they call holidays. Okay, we we're in the holiday season, and they push that on the people. As a, you know, 
something good, which holiday goes back to holy day, a sep which holy just means separate. You have holy days on the left hand side. Okay? And I'm going to go uh, to the scriptures, okay? Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Okay? So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, the Son, Yahweh Shai, created different seasons. You got summer. Well, you start with spring, which is the beginning of the year, around the time of the, right before the Passover. Okay. Right before Passover time, that's the beginning of the year, uh, two weeks before uh, Passover. That which is the spring. Then you have summer, fall, and winter. Those are the four, you know, seasons of the year. And different uh, things are associated with the different seasons. You have spring. And that's when life springs forth. That's when you see flowers bud and whatnot. Summer we know is hot. Fall is when you see, uh, you know, leaves dry and die. And winter that's when everything is dead and cold. That's just on an earthly, natural level. But also different uh, things are associated with different times. Okay, not just the uh, seasonal times. The scriptures speak, uh, speak about the beginning, the midst, and the end of the times. We know we're living in what? In the last days. The scriptures gave us signs of what things will happen in the last days. Okay? So, we're, we're living spiritually in the spiritual winter. Okay? Winter is the end of, of the year. Which we're at. You know, understand. I hope you understand what I'm saying, brothers. We are the winter of uh, 2021, but spiritually we are in the winter of of life because we're at the end of an age. You get what I'm saying? When when Yahweh Shai returns and Jacob is set up, we will be in the spring. We will be uh, we will be in newness. <laughs> you get it? That's why the scriptures call uh, Yahweh Shai the day star, the morning star. Okay. The scriptures also say Yahweh, you know, Yahweh Shai was born in in the around the Passover. Okay, so we're we're at the uh, we're in the darkest time. Okay, when you go into the winter time, that's that's where the nights get longer, the days get shorter. Uh, actually, time actually went back last night. We we got an hour uh, more of of nighttime, an hour more of darkness. So these different witches and warlocks on the left hand side, they see, they look at that as a uh, potential to do more wickedness. Okay. But the point of this lesson is, we have to be aware of of, of these things. We ought not to be ignorant. Of these things. Why? Okay. As the scriptures say. This is. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Sober is to what? Uh, have your. Uh, to, to be. Of a. Uh, you know. To be down to earth. To be. Not high minded. Not. You in a spirit of. You know, being proud and being disconnected with reality. Okay? You, you, uh, your head is so far up in the clouds, you don't really see what's going on. You're high-minded. The opposite of sober, right? Sober means to be low. The opposite of that is to be high. Okay? Which we have uh, physically being sober, you know, abstaining from, from uh, alcohol. Okay? Uh, things that alter your your mindset. That's on a physical level, okay. But on a spiritual level, you got these people that they're, they're they're drunk. They're drunk with the philosophies of this world. They're drunk with uh, different things that's being pushed out in society. So they're not sober. They're disconnected. They they don't know what the hell is going on. 
we are not to be that we ought to be vigilant we ought to be uh you know looking at everything spiritually being spiritually circumspect observing the times observing what's going on you look at what's going on on the planet it's nothing but enchantments every day is something new and and once you the scriptures as the scriptures say lord give you that eye solve you start to see like uh me and uh the brother down here uh Yeremia, we always talk about you know these different enchantments every time you look on in in, in esau's media which media means medium his hollywood agenda is his different social media outlets, uh, networks. They always, it's always something. Every week, it's been, it's been something new. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. Oh, um, uh, shit. Uh, this whole incident right now with the Travis Scott Astro World. These people dropping dead. You know, you look at that. That was straight up enchantments. Okay. Um, every week, it's it's a it's a new flavor. You got this Lil Nas X uh, weirdo. You know, and, and and Esau, they just have they. It's it's always Jake. It's always our people that Esau use. Why? Because that's showing you who he wants to get. He use our people to get our people. You see. And it's always something with 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 politics and every week is something new. They 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 got Facebook Meta. They want to create a metaverse. It's just it could go on and on. You brothers understand what I'm saying. Every it's it's so much trickery and deceit and witchcraft going on right now, and why? Because uh, as it says, First Peter five and eight, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So the spiritual demon is Satan. Has given the charge to his physical counterpart, which is the so-called white man Esau Edom, to literally uh, wreak havoc on the people, to go all out. Why? Because it is written, Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them, woe unto the habitants of the earth and the sea. For the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he know of that he have but a short time, <laughs> you see. So the spiritual demon Satan, by the orders of the heavenly Father Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, know that it's it's only so much time left for uh, the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan, which is the so-called white man to rule. That's why he's coming down with his his whole uh, agenda of trying to get all the people to take the uh, injection. Okay. Getting everybody to to come uh, agree with his system. Okay. And and he's <laughs> and we live in an age of mass deceit, and trickery, and enchantment, witchcraft, because that's how the so-called white man operates. He's the greatest witch on the planet. As of today, he take different. He took all the. Uh, the secret knowledge, occult knowledge of the different nations blended it all together. And really, it's them, them damn 1948ers. Okay, those top uh, Jew, so-called Jewish baking families, man. And with their Talmud and the Kabbalah and all that, they, they got a high-level witchcraft. They're working on the people. They're taking different things of the scriptures, twisting it. And, and, and our people was just eating it all up. That's the times we're living in. We can't and we can't get caught up in that. We have to be aware of that. Okay? Because the scriptures say there's no enchantment against Jacob, right? Numbers 20, uh, numbers 23. As a matter of fact, I get it real quick. Okay, just so I don't misquote it. Okay, so lot. Like numbers 23 and 23. Surely there is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel, okay? And that's not that's not saying that, oh, just because you're an Israelite, I mean, witchcraft not going to work on you. That shit is real. You got a lot of people in this world that say, oh, man, I don't believe in that. That's not real. Voodoo and all that shit. No, that's not real. That shit is real, man. And it's the left hand of the Heavenly Father, okay? But, and, and if, and... If you're not on the right hand of the Heavenly Father, if you're not 
of the elect of Israel, if you're not of that hopeful elect of Israel trying to truly serve him and do the best by him, he's going to give you over to the, his left hand, which is the spiritual demons, Satan, these other demons, and also his, the, his physical counterparts on earth, which are these different witches and warlocks on the earth that do his bidding, starting with Esau, Edom, as well as you got witches of our, our people and the other nations. That's tapped in with the left hand and that and they're helping Esau forward his agenda in, in every aspect of, of the society. So we have to be aware of that. Okay? It's no enchantment against Jacob, but if you ain't if you if if which what that means is if you're of the elect, there is nothing they can do to stop your salvation. Ultimately. But if let's say if you you are a brother and you are of the elect. That don't mean that the Heavenly Father could allow a demon to mess with you. Because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're putting yourself in harm's way. You uh you uh make a provision for the flesh. You're going in a way you ain't supposed to go. The most I could allow, you know, these demons to get on you. Because you're not being spiritually circumspect to, to jack you up. You see? But ultimately, if you're of the elect, you you good. We just have to continue to be circumspect, continue to work on ourselves, continue to examine ourselves. That's hence hence the the point of this lesson. None of us are exempt from from being from a, uh, the heavenly Father allowing these demons to to you know uh, attack us in certain ways. You know, that's why we have to, that's why we have, as the scriptures say, put on the whole armor of the Most High, for we, we wrestle not against blood, uh, flesh and blood, but principalities and, and, and powers of darkness uh, against the rulers of, of uh, the world, against uh, the rulers of, of, of spiritual wickedness in this world, roughly paraphrasing. You see? These different, and you better believe they trying to put enchantments on the men of the Lord. So that's why you 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 have these different battles and different fights, okay? That's why we we gotta put on the whole armor, y'all. By smash out, we gotta be reading, we gotta be praying, we gotta be fellowshipping. Talking to myself first. You gotta fast. You gotta fast. If you gotta fast, okay. It's it's this thing is a literal spiritual warfare. What's going on right now? Okay. And like I said, man. As the scriptures say, guess what? This is the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. Submit yourselves therefore to the Most High. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. See, so you, you got to resist the devil. Which resist means to what? Fight. Okay? Uh, let's, go into, let's see. Let's go into that word resist. It says what? Uh, resist. In the Greek says... And and thistemai, and thistemai to set oneself against to withstand, resist, oppose. Okay, so you gotta you gotta oppose him, which in in a sense to fight. All right, to to stand your ground, your spiritual ground. Okay, he said resist the devil and he will flee from you. And one of our great examples of that is Yahushai. Right? When he, he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights, he was at his lowest point. The scripture tells you Satan came to tempt him. All right? But the scripture say he resisted him. And But there's a key point I want to mention. Okay? There's a key point I want to mention. This is Luke chapter 4 and verse... I'm going to uh, get to the point. You know, brothers can read the story on their own time. Okay, verse 12, Luke 4 and 12, and Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, It is said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Right, Satan was coming at him with different things and trying to get him to do things that's, you know, against the scriptures. But Yahweh Shai was coming at him, resisting him with the scriptures. And Satan was coming at him with scriptures. You know, these demons, they'll try to come at you with scriptures, but they'll, they'll twist the scriptures. So you got to know how to use the scriptures in the right way. Okay? 
but this is the key point, verse 13. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Okay? And we go into that word season, which we're speaking about season, the season in the Greek, right? It says what? Kairos. Kairos. Do measure, a measure of time, a larger or smaller portion of time. Hence, a fixed and definite time, the time when things are brought to crisis. The decisive epoch, waited for, opportune or seasonable time. Okay? So it's talking about a, a period of time. Also, it says a time when crisis happens. So let's read again. Luke 4, 13. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. You get it? So that's the key point. Satan is, we resist the devil. He shall flee, but he going to flee for a season. Meaning what? He going to come back. Meaning what? It's a season for you to be tried. It's a season for you to be tempted. It's a season for enchantments to be going out. It's a season for mass witchcraft. It's a season for the devil to come down with great wrath, which is now. That's the times we're living in. Okay? Just know we, we, in, the, we in the battle. We in the war. We at war. And then with war comes different battles. Yeah, Satan may come at you one day. You fighting real hard. Hard as you may be ever fighting. But once you get over it, guess he and he flee, just know he coming back. So so in that time period, what you supposed to be doing? Getting your armor ready. Getting your 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 uh your your shield of faith ready. Okay? Sharpening it up your sword, getting on those scriptures more. Because guess what? The next battle is gonna get harder. You see? So, you know, that's just something I wanted to speak on through the spirit. Okay, we live in a time of mass enchantments. Uh, it's hella witchcraft, hella shit going on, man. Talking to myself first, we ought to be, we ought to be uh, circumspect. Okay. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shemar Hakodash. Till next lesson, Shalom.